On this election eve, a new report from research group Militia Watch named Wisconsin a hotspot for potential political violence. We've seen a summer of like really high activity. Hampton Stahl heads up Militia Watch. He cited the armed militias in the streets of Kenosha following the police shooting of Jacob Blake as one example. The thing that I'm most afraid of, specifically about militia groups and militia groups in Wisconsin, is that a lot of these groups are sort of primed for what they view as left-wing coup activities, and a delay in knowing the result of the election will most likely be uh, perceived as such. Are you concerned about militia activity tomorrow and in the days after? I'm confident that the process is going to be safe tomorrow and that things are going to go smoothly. Um, but we're also prepared in case issues do arise. Attorney General Josh Call says they're also working with the State Election Commission and local police. Milwaukee police tell us that they had zero issues during early voting with any sort of voter intimidation or threats, and they're hoping Election Day will be the same situation. We don't have any information about any threats or threats of violence that might happen. But Tuesday night may not be the end. Attorney General Call says with an unprecedented amount of absentee ballots, the results will likely take longer. There cannot be any uh, violence or destruction or interference with the election process as the counting is continuing. If those kind of activities happen, um, you know, law enforcement uh, should and I expect will be making uh, arrests. In Milwaukee, Hillary Mintz, WISN 12 News. Voter intimidation is a felony in Wisconsin. The attorney general says election inspectors have the authority to remove anyone disrupting the voting process as well as call police.